One minute on the clock, one bit of bio, one green plant, let's go. Okay, one minute on the clock, one take, here's 60 seconds of the goldenest nuggets of bio knowledge. Plants are autotrophs, that means they make their own food and they do that through the process of photosynthesis. This is where the plant will take water up from the soil through the roots and carbon dioxide from the air in through stomata, that's little pores usually on the underside of leaves, and through some biochemical trickery involving enzymes because all biochemistry needs enzymes. They'll turn that water and carbon dioxide into lovely delicious glucose and make some waste oxygen in the process. The oxygen is released through the same stomata into the air and the glucose is either moved around the plant as sucrose, which is another sugar, or converted into starch for storage. That means we can see where photosynthesis is happening in a leaf by testing it for starch and we've got a whole video on that experiment here. So, in order to do this as efficiently as possible, a plant has a bunch of adaptations to help it out. The leaves themselves are very thin, that maximizes the surface area to capture the light, and means they can pack loads of stomata in to exchange gases efficiently. The top layers of the leaf, the waxy cuticle and the epidermis, are there to prevent too much water loss, but they're transparent to let as much light in as possible to the palisade mesophyll, whose cells are tightly packed and full of chloroplasts. Chloroplasts contain a pigment called chlorophyll, which is what makes leaves green, and there's a chemical that actually captures the light energy and starts its conversion into chemical energy. Underneath that, there's the spongy mesophyll, which has air spaces between the cells to allow those gases to diffuse around the leaf. And then we hit the lower epidermis, which has all of those lovely stomata. That's the basis in 60 seconds. I dropped this mic, but it's attached to me.